Hey guys, uh, Nicholas the Peasant Pizarro Ready here with um, DT vs. Tong Fu. This is a best of three Dying series China 4 China qualifiers. Uh, I'm just catching up on some of the games here and um, yeah, I guess giving sort of a, <laughs> a perspective uh, <laughs> a few weeks afterwards. <laughs> Ten um, seconds remaining. So, some team. somewhat typical bands from from Tong Fu and uh, Dreamtime or DT. Uh, in the other games, we saw a little bit more uh, bands on heroes like Batrider, like Invoker, like Lycan, like Ten Io. seconds remaining. Um, right now, the Tree and Protector band making sense. Some teams very good with Five Tree and second, Five seconds um, remaining. Well, yeah, a little bit out of the ordinary. We'll see what they... Oh, so there's the band on the Lycan. Um, Preventing dire Tom team from done. getting the dire like in teams tend to want to uh, keep that out of the hands of the dire side, given that like is a lot stronger just because of the Rosh advantage and some other stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll see what the next Ten band seconds is. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. This is Series. And they're taking their time with this band, so I guess they're kind of just wondering up on some of the games here a little bit what they should be. Yeah, um, I guess giving sort of a <laughs> perspective. Ten seconds remaining. So, so ban on A makes sense, although it's kind of strange they gave Dreamtime the Bat Rider first pick because uh, Bat. Being such a strong hero, he's being pretty much 100% banned picked in all games, and he tends to bat tends to do a pretty good job of tearing apart the other team. So, Tom, I guess that's a strategy pick. that they think will work against the Bat Rider. I'm not convinced it will, <laughs> just because I've seen what Bat Rider does, what Bat Rider does to people with a, with a blink, Mirana. and then he gets a four staff and just kind of escalates from there. They do get Mirana, Mirana being a popular pick, pick and has a pretty high uh, percentage win rate coming into these qualifiers, but still not convinced that the Marana and Brew pickup is going to make enough of a difference. Brew experiencing a little bit of resurgence in terms of popularity ever since his uh, his buff to his um, Drunken Brawler ability, so now he has a guaranteed evade or critical slash critical attack um, if he doesn't do either of those within a certain period of time. Radiant Dreamtime picking up Visage, Visage a great hero for um, Trialing, if you can put out a lot of damage, he helps to sort of multiply that with his ability that takes advantage of damage. So we're just waiting here to see who the next band's going to be. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see a band on Ten seconds uh, remaining. Know, a hero maybe. That's probably going to go off lane. I don't imagine Brew. Five seconds good. remaining. Um, we'll mid, so we'll see what. I guess by the bands, we can kind of see what the teams here are planning. Reserve to do. time. Radiant team, ban. Hmm. Ban on Morph and on Nyx means that... I think Tong Fu's banning uh, potential mid... Ten seconds, ten seconds remaining. Well, Dreamtime doesn't want to have hero like Nyx right Five now. Five seconds ganking. remaining. Uh, even the Bat Rider can potentially get killed by the Nyx there. Reserve time. But sort of definitely you see <laughs> a different mix of bands than you do in some of the other games. Uh, the teams are a little more well known. These teams kind of have their own styles. Tong Fu did play in the uh, international last year. We'll see if they get into it again this year. Um, but uh, yeah, a little bit out of the ordinary here on, on the picks and the bands, but um, we'll see what they... And result is Dire D. Ban on Rubik and a ban on Huskar. Rubik, Dire a little D. bit more of a, a popular hero here on the competitive scene. Just very solid support with his with his stun, with his ability Radiant to steal. Team uh, pick. Good spells. Rubik would be a pretty big annoyance against Bruce Brewmaster. Bruce Master. <laughs> Brewmaster if he's able to get uh, Brew's alt. So it makes sense to ban him in this case. Um, the Huskar ban. Huskar has been buffed a few times. He's pretty strong. He 
no longer has an orb effect on his burning spear, so he's going to actually get a lot of survivability through that without reducing the damage. Five seconds to have to do. remaining. I'm kind of wondering, I'm not time. sure why they thought Huskar was such a, a vital hero of the band, but they are a pro team. I'm sure they have their own little reasons and plans. Wraith King, a popular hero. He's been really popular throughout the qualifier. His ultimate gives him a lot of survivability. Also, makes him a huge pain because if you don't kill him while he's being away and stunning on you, and if you do kill him, then you slow your whole team and give the other team a chance to get a really good initiation off on you. So Tong Fu right now has quite a strong team fight with the Brewmaster, with the Murana, uh, with the Wraith King, Starfall, and that arrow, the invisibility to initiate Brewmaster's ultimate, Wraith King's stun and his ultimate. Dreamtime looking to counter that a bit with Coddle. He can use his blinding light to Lena. mess up their ability to hit the other team. Lady also, Wave team obviously very hit. strong at, at uh, fights in, in smaller, concentrated locations. And also with his Aghanims upgrade later on, although I doubt we'll see an Aghanims on Coddle, but later on he can use it to heal. And actually going for a PL, so Dreamtime here is going for a Coddle team. PL lane. Pink. We haven't seen that in a while. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen that in a pro game, actually, uh, but that's really fun lane to play because <laughs> you just keep giving mana to, uh, to Phantom Lancer and he just spams the crap out of you with his lance. There's no way really to dodge Ten it. Seconds uh, remaining. It's just a very high damage kind of dynamic Five lane with the Visage as well. He'll be able to build remaining. on that damage with his um, Soul Assumption, uh, which uh, increases time. his damage as more damage is dealt around him and then gradually ticks back down. But if you're able to capitalize on the damage being dealt, Radiant you have a lot of great potential. Tong Fu continuing to ban out the mid heroes. Night Stalker's out for Dream Time. Uh, would have been a pretty good hero for them to pick up. Makes sense for Tong Fu to ban. And Dream Time looking to ban here. Probably looking to ban. I imagine. Ten seconds. Ten I seconds. I'm not sure. Remaining. It's sort of unclear as to what Tong Fu's lanes are going to be. Five exactly. seconds. They have Remaining. three heroes who could potentially be mid heroes. They have two heroes who could potentially be off lane heroes. Which is likely time. to be a carry or support in the trial lane. Um. But yeah, kind of interesting here to see what they're going to pick. Tongfu right now does have a decent amount of AoE damage, but not really anyone who can provide AoE Dire team on down. a regular basis just with Wind their attacks. At your so they're going to pick up Windranger, and Tongfu's actually quite team. fond of Windranger. They saw, we, saw her, we saw them play her a few times in, in, the, uh, in the tournament, actually. Dreamtime banning the Doom. Doom would be a pretty big uh, party pooper for them for a lot of their heroes relying on their spells. And uh, he's just a pretty strong hero overall. So they're going to grab Puck for the mid, and that's the last pick for the mid here. I'm really curious to see who Tong Fu is going to put mid, uh, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. So that's going to be Super on the Visage. Sorry Fox playing the Wind Ranger. Zhao LV on the Wraith King, Mr. Liuk AL on the Murana, Injuli on Bat, Dreamy Yu on Coddle, XDD on Phantom Lancer, Air on the Puck, and let's see who's filling out the rest of these roles. Kabu on Lena and UUU9 on the Brewmaster. So it looks like I think it's gonna be. I don't even know. I, th I think. I think it's going to be Brewmaster mid, but I'm not sure to be honest, so I guess we'll see with that. Um, so PL, Coddle, and Visage all going bot. Puck also accompanying them. Bass is going to head off to the offlane. He's looking to place a, a ward, probably to block the camp. If not, he's going to put it on the Ancients or something, give sight for mid. Um, XDD leading a front. Notice he hasn't scaled anything yet because he is preserving his invisibility in case he needs to get away. These guys have a sentry, so they could potentially kill him even if he does use his invis. And they have handed off the war to, I think, so Murata will be off lane, I imagine, will be Brew there in the, in the mid lane. So right now, uh, DT actually sort of moving around here. They do get a ward off. Um, they're going to block this camp with the ward that also gives them pretty good sight in the jungle. 30 seconds and to battle. It's kind of cute. They're hiding here in the trees, and with that ward, they do have vision out. Um, but right now, uh, Dreamtime is backing up, so uh, they get their two wards down, but um, 
I don't think they're going to get a kill because Dreamtime has backed up to the tower. I think they must suspect something's going on. So Bat gets his ward off. He chooses not to block the camp, probably because he figures he can interrupt with his Firefly, if need be. And he's going to look to... The battle begins! The top, if there is one. It's going to be Sorry Fox uh, top against the Bat Rider. There's DD Rune bottom. Kabu's going to get it. This is a potential first blood, maybe. It looks like they're actually gonna, yeah, they're gonna go aggro try here with the Murana, with the Wraith King, and Double uh, damage. Amina. I imagine it'll be probably uh, Murana farming. Wraith King tends to be more of a support hero, and then he can transition into carry later on. And Kabu's looking to get a first blood here on Puck mid. Uh, not sure how well that will go, given that he has an orb. Um, I think it would make more sense to try and make something happen bottom, but I guess he was looking to see if maybe there's an opportunity. That already starting with uh, the harass on Wind Ranger, but Wind Ranger does trade off pretty decently. You see, she's actually doing more damage to Bat than he is to her. He doesn't have any points of sticky napalm yet, so that uh, Firefly does a lot less damage than it would otherwise. Uh, Tong Fu really want to get a kill here. They're going to throw an arrow out, and it doesn't hit anyone, so there's that uh, opportunity initiation gone, unfortunately. Um, they have a pretty decent setup here with uh, Denied. Zhao LV. Not sure if LV is short for love or something, but anyways, um, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Liuk AL wants to hit an arrow. Um, they don't actually have sight here on Caudal. If they did, they could get a pretty good arrow off. Um, but right now, just a little bit of posturing in lane. Not too much going on right at this moment. So things are looking you keep the light. pretty pretty decent right now. It. If we go to last hits and denies, Puck is uh, out doing Brew mid, using his range to kind of harass. He did go for a Null Tailsman first, so he actually has pretty decent to base damage. That's a Marana arrow that got uh, unleashed, but it didn't hit mid, unfortunately. I think Puck actually phase shifted. So, Tung Fu here trying for the plays, not really succeeding so far. Uh, Zhao, oh jeez. Zhao LV taking a lot of damage there from the combination of Lance and Wave. Uh, pretty potent combination. And in July. Currently a little bit behind on the Wind Runner, but or the Wind Ranger. He's probably gonna be doing all right later on though. That's pretty strong hero in the offline. Don't burn your fingers. Um, he kind of overplayed his hand a little bit earlier when he was trying to harass her down. He's starting to stack those napalm uh, stacks on her, and he's gonna—is he gonna get another one off? Oh, surprisingly, I thought he was gonna throw another one in there, but I guess he didn't want to risk wasting mana. Marana being cute, throwing her illusion in, maybe to kind of give them an idea that the illusion is blocking that the camp. That is ours. Uh, or just to give sight. Potentially. She's going to wrap around. She knows the wave came from there, but uh, no chance there on hitting the arrow. And Marana's still at level 1, so she, although she does have her arrow and it's a great ability, she needs to really land one and get a kill if she wants to start to catch up there on, on the um, experience. So... <laughs> It's funny, I, I thought Ron was going to be farming, but it looks like it's actually going to be Shao LV doing the farming here. And there's the Coddle PL harass that I've come to know and love so well in my games. So most of the time it's me on the other end, because people that I play with don't really it's play not Coddle, your but, uh, It's pretty frustrating to play games, because there's really not much you can do about it. Um, we see that Shao LV actually has chosen to uh, get a point in his lifesteal. Messes up the last hit. It's embarrassing. Um, or the deny, actually. But anyways, uh, yeah, chose to get a point in his lifesteal to come with sustain. Oh, Kabu is probably going to go down here. She does get the stun off, but it's, oh my goodness, is it going to be enough? Last blood. The last hit there. Super picks him off. Shao LV trying to chase down Dream Yu. Dream Yu just barely gets away. XTV continues to whack away here at Shao LV. Uh, building up the damage here on Soul Assumption, but not quite enough there. Dream is so lucky that he got away from that uh, from that attack. Just one hit away from death. That would have been a decent trade, but that's leaving um, Dreamtime with a pretty sweet uh, advantage in that lane. They've got the first kill. 
Sorry Fox here is uh, preventing the, or trying to prevent the neutral creeps from beating the crap out of his uh, potential kills. They're not having much luck. Pretty hard to contest that damage early on um, as a solo offline hero with not much AoE. So XTD actually only has six last hits uh, compared to, or seven now, but compared to Wraith King's 20. So Tom Fu actually did a really good job here on the last hits. Bru has caught up mid now that he's gotten his bottle. He's able to sustain a little bit better against Puck. He's almost level six as well. He's doing, I think, yeah, he do, he's doing a bottle crow, and he's gonna grab a uh, upgrade on his magic stick, which is an interesting choice for an item. Don't see that too often, the upgrade on the magic stick, but. XDD actually quickly catching up here on the last hits. He got six in the last wave there. Um, shall be getting the, uh, oh man, that's a little bit of damage. She's just getting pushed back. He got the life still to try and help with the sustained lane, but what it's doing is pushing the lane forward. It's causing them quite a bit of a problem. Because uh, it just keeps pushing it into the tower. Mr. Liuk AL is going to get some kills here. I'm just going to call him AL. I'm not calling him Mr. Liuk too much. Too much of a burden. These guys both are level 6. Brew unlikely to fall given that he is his ultimate. Although in July is coming in here. And if they can combo up with air uh, silencing and then using his uh, green coil, it looks like that's what he wants to do. Just go in, throw his down his ult. He wants to silence his him. That's going to grab him, actually. And I'm not sure if uh, UUU9 is going to get out. He does get the uh, ult off. Murata picks up someone. Azaz also taking some damage. Killing spree! Double kill! When you're running against a trial lane with a Azaz in it, he's going to really take advantage of both the team's damage. So even if you do manage to get a a bunch of damage off. Oh man, Ryu he wants to kill. Ah, oh. Dyer's middle tower is on so close. He doesn't quite get it. July running away now. Yu Yu turning it around on him. Uh, so that's a counter kill there, and um, it's, it's three two. But uh, the bottom lane is really suffering. Bruce holding up pretty decently mid. He did get his uh, bottle crow, and he's back up to full health. Um, Air wants to continue compounding on. Extreme pain that they're feeling here in the bottom lane. Actually, you're gonna throw that lance down. Eric is coming in. Dominating! In his hand. That's the end of the uh, uh, Chow LV. In July, heading back up top. Does have his tranquils, but not close at all to his um, blink dagger. Gonna go in with the uh, the firefly. I think a little bit of a waste of it, actually. Looking to get the camp, but it's been cleared. Uh, it might have been cleared by him. Uh, he's gonna use the napalm here to get some quick kills on the creeps. Uh, so it's looking pretty good for Dreamtime right now. They're uh, winning their lanes so far. If we look, take a quick look at oh, XP and, and gold are pretty pretty close so far. Uh, but uh, they're having a really hard time here in the bottom lane. And uh, AL and Shao LV and Kabu trying to make stuff happen, but it's just not going their way. Just pretty strong lane for them to be up against in terms of damage output. And that Visage, although he hasn't even picked much lately. Oh, the Dust! They're gonna slow him down. They do follow up with the stun. Um, both the Ron stun and the Lina stun. So that's a good nice. kill on XD. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, yeah. The Kung Fu here in the bottom lane. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard for them because if Visage and Kabo are in position, they can really put out a lot of damage. And, uh, oh, so they do manage to get the pick off this time. He's not failing uh, two times in a row on the Brew in the mid. I think his, was his ultimate on cooldown? Yes, his ultimate was still on cooldown, so that does take a lot away from his survivability. And they do manage to pick him off right before his cooldown comes up on his ult, so that's nice for them. That does get a double damage rune. This is going to help him return to lane and not be too affected by the fact that he was... Fire is middle tower is under really attack. Mid. So Air having a pretty good time here mid. Uh, not sure if he's going to go straight for the blank or for another item first. He may choose to get some sort of boots or something, but uh, he's actually got an item coming. No? Oh yeah, he's just got the bottle. He's also bottle crying, so... Both heroes pretty dependent on getting that bottle filled up on a regular basis. Air did give the rune away top to bat, so he could continue there on top lane. Makes more sense. A lot easier to bottle throw to mid lane than it is to the other lanes, given the distance you have to travel from the fountain. XDD having a little bit of a hard time last hitting on the tower. It's, he's got more damage now. He's been getting actually uh, stats as well as Phantom Lance. Not bothering with his invisibility, which is interesting. 
I guess he figures he'll just get dusted if something happens. And those stats are helping a lot with uh, helping him survive the damage. He does survive this time. Super's gonna throw the Soul Assumption on Kabu. That's half his health gone. They're gonna keep chasing. He wants to get another Soul Assumption off. That's a stun Mega there from, uh, from the Mana Leak. And they're gonna turn it around here on the bottom lane. Oh, Rana almost falls. Super just desperately wants to get that Soul Assumption off again. He's very low on health though, he's gonna have to back up. Next, he's throwing out another Lance. They're back on the meantime. Didn't actually pick That's off one Ranger again with his ultimate. That Lance proving his worth pretty nice. And air goes in over the edge, does get killed, but they do pick off the Ron. That's another kill there from the PO. Lance onto the uh, Wraith King. Bruce gonna keep chasing. He wants to take down uh, XDD. Does manage to grab an item there. He does have a wand charge there, so he can actually turn this around on him. And he wands and lances him. Wicked you is gonna fall down, but that kill. was a beautiful fight there from DT. They did lose the Puck. Puck gave his life in front of the tower, but um, the wave there, while they were all focused on him, really um, did them in pretty nicely because there were a lot of them that were damaged, and Marana fell before she could react to the wave. Air not much closer to his blink dagger, but his team looking mighty fine after uh, that was a trade. I think four for one on bottom. <laughs> Al and shall love. Saying okay. Radiant's middle <laughs> tower is under attack. F the bottom lane. <laughs> We're gonna go do some other stuff. And they've got actually got the wind run wind ranger. Looks like she's probably gonna be building a mech unless she's just building a casual buckler. Although that seems to be unlikely. But uh Wind Ranger got the buckler up, she's got her phase boots up, she's probably gonna go for an early mech, help her with survivability, and super using his uh, little minions to help with taking out the creeps. They do have that regeneration capability. Uh, with their gargoyle stone form. Power trip up on XDD, gonna help him again with uh, being a little bit tankier. Oh, and super rapid around here from the side, gonna slow, getting that extra damage in. He's waiting his soul assumption when it's at max damage, but looks like Sorry Fox will get away. Now that's gonna be another monster kill! <laughs> They're just really making good use here of the damage on PL's Lance. PL's starting to get some points in his other abilities now that he's a little bit tankier. Um, UU9 is... or UUU9. Oh man, these names. <laughs> Triple U9. Oh man, he gets grabbed by the bat. Was not expecting that. Air's gonna follow up with the silence. He can't use his ult. Ult is actually on cooldown though. Uh, he's gonna run around trying to buy some time without breaking the coil, but he gets killed anyways. That's a cancel on the TP there. Figured they couldn't help. Kabu working on the neutral creeps, trying to get some experience in. Does does hit level 6, so if he gets an opportunity, he can blow someone up pretty good. Uh, but meanwhile, this PL's farming up, and he's going to start to be really scary. Batrider actually has bypass. The other guys on last hits. They were leading for a little bit. Air is is suffering a bit in terms of farm, but he's been helping out his team a lot and ganking the other lanes. Um, really making good use of his early damage. Jumps up top there, but Marana's gotten the uh, rune already, and Dyer's he actually doesn't know. Is under I wonder how need to check there. Maybe they had side on bottom, or maybe just guess, but he doesn't get the rune. He's going to have to head back to base probably to heal up, unless he chooses to bottle crow, but it looks like at this point he's just backing up. So early game going really well here for DT. We'll see if they can continue to, continue to build on that. We have seen, and I have seen, a lot of games where um, one team gets an early advantage, but doesn't necessarily mean that they're out. That's a blink up on Bat now. Very dangerous here to be playing against, and this is what I was talking about during the picking phase. Once Bat gets his blink in, he's actually pretty quite, uh, quite a Quite a danger even before that. But yeah, once get once get once Bat gets his blink, he's really. Uh, difficult hero to play against because he just has so much initiation potential. Drag anyone pretty much out of any situation. Lasso going through BKB uh, and the range there on the initiation quite significant as well. So Dreamy Year looks like he is actually building an Aghanims. So this will be a fun game to watch if it does get to that point. See some uh, some of the coddle changes in action in the, in the professional scene. Kabu here. I think they want to make something happen with the PL. Uh, I'm not sure how well that's going to go though. They might just get uh, beaten to pulp instead. Super is wrapping around with the birds. He's looking for something. Sorry Fox gets hit by yet another um, wave. And Coddle's just going to Dominating. set up camp here. And oh, that's another kill Stormy! I think you and and mine have a thing for each other. Dyer's
Pastrami. There's the Wraith King slow we were talking about. Puck does manage to go uh, into face shift and get away. They got a kill there. We'll see if they manage to counter this shade on XCD. Dodges and Marana arrow, so looking pretty good for them there. And that's another kill there for uh, DT. They're managing to get um, lots of kills without having to pay an equivalent price, so it's looking pretty good for them in that department. Uh, Oh my Double kill! Right. Just keep carnage from the bottom tower. And they're, keep, they're continuing to push with the, uh, the wave. <laughs> and they might even take this tower after all that as well. This is looking like a pretty rough game. For the Radiant's tower. middle tower sure is under attack. To, uh, sustain against that. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's tower down. Tower has Favor fallen. the Radiant. That's a Radiant's huge goal. Middle tower is under uh, attack. Is building up. Only at 5,000 right now, but it'll only get better. Tong Fu trying to make something happen with the smoke gank, but there's a lot of them in the jungle, and if they do happen upon someone, it might be disastrous for them. AL wants to go on PL. They all want to go on PL. They're actually all here. Um, but they betray their presence, and uh, DT might actually swing here, take mid tower, and then come back and defend it. That would just be. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Uh, for Tong Fu. They smoke up again. They want to try and find someone. They're going to try and wrap around here on, on middle from the back. They do not have another fortification up for a little while now. Um, Puck bottling a nice regen ring for him. Uh, Rana wants to deny. She's, uh... You've been burned. Dyer's middle tower so has been denied. Out, but Kabu getting grabbed by the lasso. Oh my god, Hale getting dropped. He's still alive though. That's Kabu down. That's Kabu down. Ru goes in with his ult. Dyer's spider kill. He's doing a ton of damage now. Has his lance up. Probably gonna finish off Xiao Love or LV. Holy up on him. shit! He's gonna fall Double super. kill! Taking full advantage of his soul That's three down for them. There's two left. Bruce's ultimate is gonna end soon. And that's GG. Oh, that's just consistent. So, you might wish to retract really quick GG um, in favor of Dreamtime there. And that was a pretty uh, powerful Radiant victory. We'll see if Tonkwu can bring it back in the next game. But I imagine it's feeling pretty defeated at the moment.